How's it going everyone? So uh, a lot of people are confused on how to properly rewind rewind the film uh, once you finish shooting a raw film. Um, this is the Olympus OM4 Titanium. Um, in this camera, it actually works slightly different than the Olympus OM1 and OM2 series of the cameras. With the OM1 and OM2, there is a little knob in the front where you turn 90 degrees um, and then the film spool gets loosened and then you can rewind the film. But for the OM OM2 spot metering, OM3 and OM4, they changed to a simple button. So this is a much easier way of rewinding the film. But if you don't know, you wouldn't know how to proceed. So I just finished shooting this roll of film, uh, had about 37 exposures, and uh, I'm gonna get ready to rewind. So showing you guys really quick. For the OM4 tie, OM3 or OM2 spot metering, you press this little rewind button down, okay? Once you press it down, the spool is released. So there's no tension on the spool anymore. That's when you're gonna rewind the film. Do not try to rewind this when this lever is not pressed, or if you have the OM1 and OM2, make sure the lever is at the rewind position before you start turning. Otherwise, you're gonna damage the film and the film um, you're gonna pull the film and then it's gonna break in the middle and all your undeveloped uh, stuff is gonna be left outside exposed. So really bad situation, do not do that. So now it's pressed, it's released. Uh, we are just going to turn and obviously I, I cannot do it with one hand. So I'm gonna put the camera down and I'm just gonna start turning the film. Okay, and show you guys when we finish turning. All right, so basically you're gonna turn this according to the arrow direction, um, which is for the most camera clockwise to rewind. Uh, if your rewind lever is at the bottom, you're actually gonna turn counterclockwise, but again, follow the arrow of the camera manufacturer and you should be fine. So you're gonna turn until you feel a resistance. That means um, or like a slight change in resistance. That means the film has been pulled all the way, um, almost into the shell of the canister. And you, when you feel that resistance, keep turning a few more, so the film gets fully recessed into the canister. And when it's done, uh, most cameras, you're just gonna pull this up and continue pulling, and it's gonna open the film door, but some other camera could be different. There might be a button over here, or some other mechanism over here that you press, but either way, it should be around the film lever that you can pop open the film door. Once it's popped open with this steer in the up position, you can easily remove the canister. Okay, so um, the, the, what I'm shooting is the Actor 100, and uh, this is a, a pretty cool colored film, very popular, however, extremely expensive nowadays. Um, I've had this roll kind of expired, and I bought you know a few years back for fairly good price, um, but now it gets expensive. So this is my last roll of the Actor 100, but I just finished shooting it. Um, so you're pretty much finished with um, the entire process of shooting your film and unloading the film at this point. So find a good reputable uh, film developer and send this in, and you should have um, your first roll of um, um, film developed and they also offer scanning service so you might have it scanned or you can try to scan them at home using a scanner or your digital camera setup either way uh, i hope you guys found this video helpful on how to rewind the film properly okay if you guys have any questions uh, about your particular camera feel free to ask me in the comment section down below i'll try my best uh, to figure out you know how your camera rewinds and tell you how to do it um if you found this video video helpful uh, do hit the like button or subscribe um, and I should highly appreciate it. Thanks again, guys, and see you in the next video. Take care.